as a believer in Christ, I would like to share a portion of my heart with you. My name is Peggy, and I became a member of Warwick Assembly of God Church May of 2009. One of the hardest things I have had to deal with as a Christian has been grief. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 7, 22, that it's appointed unto man once to die, if the rapture doesn't come first. The world tells us that Christ is not coming back, but we know better, don't we? As a Christian, I know he's coming back. I am 83 years old. Can you imagine how many friends, family members I have lost in that 83 years? Losing a husband and a beloved son and a very special friend has been the hardest part of my life. There were days that I didn't feel that I could go on. But Christ is my comforter. He has never left me. He's never forsaken me. And he never will. I have depended on him all my life. If I live another day or another 20 years, or if I live to see the rapture, I will still serve Christ. He is my one and only. Sin is the cause of death. Grief is a normal process. When you lose a loved one, something happens to your body, happens to your heart. Things are not the same. But the thing about it is, one day, one day there will be no more death. Sin has caused death, and there's not going to be any sin. You know, this story or my testimony has a happy ending. Yes, I've cried many, many tears. I've lost many loved ones. I still think of them. But you know what? They're in heaven. And I'm going there. I'm going to go see Jesus. I'm going to see my husband. I'm going to see my son. I'm going to see my very special friend that I loved with all my heart. I'm not going to be sad then. I've been sad enough on this earth. But I'm not sad when Jesus comes and the Holy Spirit deals with me. I'm not sad then. And one day, it'll be that way every day. You know, when I look upon his face, when I enter those pearly gates and I see my loved ones, I'm going to see my mom and dad. I hope they still know me. <laughs> it's been so many years. But you know what? Yeah, I have a lot of sad days. I do. And if you lost as many loved ones as I have, you would have some sad days too. It's normal. Grief is a normal process. God could not look on his son when he died. He couldn't look on him. It hurt God. And Jesus wept when Lazarus died. So you see... If God and Jesus, if they mourn, if they grieve, if they hurt, what about us humans? We're only human. We don't have the strength. We don't have the love or the power that they have. I want to ask you if you are dealing with grief or sorrow, if you would please contact our church. We have many, many Christians at this church that would pray for you, that would show you what God's comfort is, what God can do, man cannot do. We have good friends 
and they feel sorry for us and they love us and they show us that they care and they're concerned. But nobody, nobody can love us or care for us like Jesus does. And you know, I'm really looking forward to the day when I leave this mortal body and I walk into heaven and I see Jesus and I see my loved ones and I have cried the last tear. I will cry. I will not cry anymore. You know, they say that God sees our tears and sometimes He even catches our tears. You know what? I bet I got a bushel basket full of tears. But I'm not going to have them when I get to heaven. I am not going to have any more tears. I'm going to say goodbye for now. But before I do, I want to pray with you, okay? Ma'am, sir, if you have a burden over a lost loved one, or you're grieving, or you're ex are you expecting someone in your family to pass away soon. I want to pray for you now before I go. Father in heaven, thank you for this time that I have had to share your wonderful, wonderful comfort, your love, your care. Lord, life on this earth is not easy. And Jesus, you know that because you walked on this earth too. And Lord, you were spat upon. You were killed, Lord, for my sins. And I thank you, Lord, for forgiveness. But Father, if there's anyone listening to the sound of my voice and they need help, I pray that they would call and we will be able to show them love and compassion and tell them how wonderful your love is and that they can survive. They can survive. When you're on our side, we are the victor. Thank you, God. Bless everyone that heard me. I love you. I praise you. And I thank you for heaven. In your blessed name I pray, amen.